Verizon part in this demo will ship at 95 watt TDP. So our performance is matching the 140 watt TDP of 6900K stock with lower power before we have finished optimizing the performance. Okay, now let's look at just one more CPU test. I can't help myself. I feel like I have to show you these things. All right, now we're gonna use Handbrake. Same two systems, same configurations. And um, this demo is gonna take about a minute to run. So let me ask Robert to go ahead and start this demo. Okay, so Handbrake is really a popular open source app that transcodes one form of video um, to the next. And this is another heavy, heavy CPU workload that scales well with cores and threads. And so what you'll see is you see the task manager on the side of both systems, and you can see you, know, you have eight cores and 16 threads uh, running. Actually, what we're doing is we're transcoding the Ryzen video that we just showed you to the Apple TV3 preset in Handbrake. And it's gonna take a little bit of, um, a little while, because it's actually a heavy uh, video workload. Um, and as we finish, how are we doing there, Robert? Are we like making progress? All right. And as we finish, pay attention to the scores, guys. The scores are important in this one. The scores are always important, actually. <laughs> and as we finish, you see the Ryzen processor without boost actually beats the 6900K by about 10%, or roughly five seconds or so, on this very intense CPU workload. So how cool is that? Okay. So AMD is on the left, Intel is on the right, and we are rendering the logo of our Ryzen processor. And guys, this is a heavy, heavy CPU workload. So you can see it's working hard. Now, as we get towards completion, it's almost there, um, what you'll see is that Ryzen at 3.4 gigahertz, let me let it keep going a little bit here. Ryzen at 3.4 gigahertz without boost actually matches the performance of the 6900K that currently lists for about $1,100.